Hi everyone, welcome back to the Puttering Penman. Today I want to talk about three fountain pen inks that I like and I think are underrated in the fountain pen community. Those are the uh, standard, part of the standard line of Pilot fountain pen inks, Pilot Blue, Pilot Blue Black, and Pilot Black. Um, and so I'll go over the reasons why I like these inks uh, and also some of the um, problems with them. So, these are some different size bottles that you can get. The Let's talk about this one. This is the Pilot 70 milliliter bottle. Uh, this bottle of ink you actually can't buy in the U.S. unless you're getting it from ordering it from a Japanese retailer. I got this bottle because I uh, got it with my Pilot Custom 823. It comes in that gift box packaging. Um, that's you know, the only way to get this bottle from a U.S. retailer. But you can obviously go on Amazon or um, go on uh, eBay or buy from a Japanese retailer who will mail, who will mail it to the U.S. Um, overall, one of the reasons I like um, Pilot, the standard line of inks, is because in the 60 milliliter bottle and the 70 milliliter bottle, they give a... There's a plastic insert inside the bottle, and so these are the instructions for using it. Basically, um, over here in step two, you flip the bottle over, flip the bottle back over, and now that plastic insert is full of ink, and then you fill the pen with it. So it basically just makes it easier to fill the pen with ink because the ink level rises um, higher in that plastic insert. So really nice and convenient for filling your pens. This is the 60 milliliter bottle. It also has that plastic insert. Uh, it's really nice. This bottle sort of looks like a, looks like a genie lamp or it reminds me of that. Um, you know, but because of that plastic insert, it's also really easy to fill. Neither of these bottles are that fancy, like if you compare it to a Pilot Orochizuku bottle, those bottles are definitely fancier, but um, these bottles hold a lot of ink, and they don't take up much space, and they have those plastic inserts, which makes it easy to fill. This is the 30 milliliter bottle. Um, this is a Pilot Blue Black. Pilot Blue Black, I, they don't actually sell it in the U.S., so I got this off Amazon from, um, I believe Pilot Japan sold it off Amazon. So you won't be able to get, uh, you can get Blue Black ink cartridges from, you know, Goulet pens and Anderson pens and so on, but if you want Blue Black from a bottle, you can order it from uh, Pilot from Japan or eBay or, or uh, Amazon, something like that. So this bottle doesn't have the plastic insert, but um, I just got it because I want a small bottle of Pilot Blue Black because it's one of my favorite inks. And, um, you know, if you want to get any of these bottles, I'll put some uh, links down in the description below uh, down to the Amazon links where I got them. Okay, so now those are the bottles. Let's actually talk about the ink itself. So here is sort of how the ink looks. So Pilot Blue's up at the top, Pilot Blue Black's in the middle, and Pilot Black is at the bottom. You can see that Pilot Blue is a fairly standard blue. It's not so light that it's a sky blue, but not so dark that it's a royal blue. Um, I don't actually care a ton for the color of Pilot Blue. I think it's a little dull and doesn't really have the, the eye-catching... Uh, properties of other blues, but um, you'll see in a second some of the other properties I do like about it. Pilot Blue Black I do like a lot. Um, I think it's a it's not a really dark blue, but it's a, a nice enough blue that it'll um, get your attention and and be easy to look at. Pilot Black is you know a nice black ink. It's not the darkest black fountain pen ink, but um, it is really dark, and it'll certainly get your attention from the writing. 
here is a little bit of the dry times. Each of these came out of a uh, pilot uh, medium nib, so you can see, um, and from a, a wet pen too, so the dry times for each of them were somewhere between 15 and 20 seconds, which is pretty good. This paper is um, Clairefontaine, so it takes a long time for, you know, any fountain pen ink to dry on it. And so I think a dry time of 15 to 20 seconds is pretty good. One other thing that I wanted to show you is how, so Pilot, the standard line of Pilot inks are actually pretty uh, water resistant and fade resistant. Um, so I'm going to show you a water resistance test here. So we'll start with Pilot Blue. So this Q-tip is wet with water. So you'll see the ink smears, but it's still readable. There's Pilot Blue Black. That one actually holds uh, really well. And here is Pilot Black. You can see that one is also holds really well, very readable. And I just want to show you for comparison what some other fountain pen inks look like when you do that. So this ink on the top is Pilot Arushizuku Shinkai. Um, I wanted to use an Orochizuku ink so you can compare the properties between a standard Pilot ink and an Orochizuku ink. And then the bottom one is uh, J. Arbon Lyre Sauvage. I'm using that one just because I had it in a pen so I could write it. So as you can see, Pilot Orochizuku Shinkai, it's still pretty readable, but starting to fade away pretty quickly. Let's try the J. Urban. So J. Urban did pretty well, but you can see it's getting hard to read. Let's compare these. So here is Pilot Blue, Pilot Blue Black, and Pilot Black. So you can see that they actually held it pretty well. I don't have anything to do a fade test right now because that takes time and you have to hold it in the sun. Um, so I don't have anything to show you there, but if you go on Fountain Pen Network and look at reviews of the Pilot inks, you can see that they actually have, um, Pilot Black has really good fade resistance. Pilot Blue Black has uh, pretty good fade resistance also. Pilot Blue is not fade resistant, so don't count on that. Um, but overall, you know, these are some really nice standard inks. Um, another thing to like about them is uh, just the cost. So a 50 milliliter Pilot Orochizuku bottle is something like 22 to $25. A uh, 60 milliliter bottle of Pilot Blue or Pilot Blue Black uh, or Pilot Black is like $12. Um, in fact, Pilot even sells a 350 milliliter bottle. It sort of looks like a um, like a bottle of soda, and so that's seven times the amount of ink as you get in a 50 milliliter Shizuku bottle. But it also costs twenty two dollars. So you're basically getting this seven times the amount of ink for the same price. Um, that's obviously 350 milliliters is obviously a lot of ink. It would take me years to go through it, um, but you know some people do like getting that bottle of ink. So I think from a, a cost perspective, the standard line of Pilot inks are really good. So that's all I have for you today. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye.